Hello, my love. Good morning to you. I hope that this finds you well. I hope that you slept well last night, that you had sound, sound sleep. I'm thinking about you as always. I hope for today that you realize how powerful you are, how much, not energy, but how much, well, I guess it is energy. How much energy is, is kept inside you, is locked inside you to be released should you so desire. I hope you realize that. I am thinking about you. I was thinking also about transparency. And I believe I've touched upon this a little bit before, but I'm thinking about the idea that a system without transparency, by definition, cannot be trusted. Transparency is so important for organizations and governments and even in my mind, parenting, that its value and importance cannot be understated. I'll say it again, that a system without transparency cannot be trusted by definition because you do not know the system. If you don't know the system, if you cannot see the thing in its entirety, you cannot trust it because you don't even know what it is. And that's the issue with transparency and why it is so important, especially in things like democracies. Um, you know, I said it's important for government. It's really important for a democratic government. It's important for a government where the people need to choose the leaders because if you do not know how the system works, you will not know which leaders to choose. There's a... I always felt in my life that there was this sort of weird sense of bravado uh, in leaders and even in parents in terms of like, well, it's, you do it because I say, you know, that's the reason. Or, or with politicians, they would sort of keep their cards close to their vest and, you know, have a sort of braggadocio, if that's the word, about, oh, well, they don't realize what's going on because I'm going to then do maneuvers X, Y, and Z, and, and it will be important to, you know, to not tell people certain things because then it will allow me to achieve certain results. And in terms of horse trading and, and things, sure, there, there's a value to that. And if you're going to be a dictate, dictatorial parent, there's a value to that too, of, of course, it's important. But if you actually want people to trust you, if they want to believe in the system, if you want them to trust the system, the system has to be transparent. It's the only way, it's the only way to build that trust, but, but almost more importantly, it's the only way to affect change if necessary in terms of if people cannot see the system and know how it works and what it is doing, they cannot analyze where it might need to be changed and where it may be failing in certain regards. It falls back. It's just an issue of trust at the end of the day. You know, I always, I'm always surprised by people who, who were fond of leaders who kept things close to their vest because I always wanted, I wanted to trust my government. I wanted to trust my leaders. And the only way I could do that was if I knew what they were doing and how the government was actually functioning. So I, I will leave it at that. I hope, I hope I was transparent with you. I certainly tried to be in terms of parenting and teaching you how to go through life and explaining why I did the things I did. It makes, it makes for very difficult parenting, I will say, um, because then you have to really explain things. And if you don't have a good reason and it's just based on gut, you're forced to confront that fact, and which is usually has to do with one's own prejudices or one's own upbringing. And we don't always like to face those things, but I hope I was transparent with you and that you understood why I did the things that I did. So I will leave it at that. I will recommend again Alluvium and Shuffle Drones and 
I will hope that there is transparency in your life and the organizations that you are involved with. And I will bid you adieu.